ending their season tonight with a clash against the Roosters. And as we saw on Thursday night, the West Tigers really turned it on against the very much well-fancied Newcastle Knights. And I'm sure we'll see something similar tonight. The Cowboys looking to end their inaugural NRLW season on a high. They've got some experienced players in their outfit. Now the Roosters. They're coming out onto Cogra and a couple of changes, but still a formidable outfit. Joining me in commentary tonight, Ruan Sims and Alana Ferguson. This game originally scheduled to get underway at 10 to 1 in the afternoon. The players will be thankful that it's kicking off right now at 6 o'clock at night as April Nangapuna with the first touch. Drop your voice when you mention his name because he's in the box next door. Yep. And it's not very soundproof. No. Okay, here's Dib. Interchange of passing. Faifua. Good tackle, Bridie Parker. Faifua plays it. Dib goes to Peacock. And Peacock's five away from the line. Options both sides here for Manzelman. Which way will they go? Go to the right. Dib, short ball. Nagapuna for the line will be stopped a metre short. Roosters te defence tested here. Peacock. That was easy pickings for the Roosters. They were there in numbers. Peacock plays it. Menzelman, the Dib, plays in motion. Dib with a dummy, a step and a try. Well done, Kira Dib over the line for the first points of the night. Yeah, that was really nice from Kira Dib. Actually, in the lead up on the right edge, I thought she offloaded the ball too early. She wasn't digging in and wasn't really committing those defenders. The line on, we see here on the Harvey Norman replay, just the footy in two hands. She noticed that the back rower and Fotu Moala just held up and a nice little left foot step, but it's footy in two hands. She sold that pass. And just a little bit of a mismatch against a couple of forwards. Great work. I think the more Kira Dib can take the line on, particularly when she is ball playing and now that she's run into the line herself. Back on the inside and here she goes. No worries. <laughs> I'd like to see Tulula Tillett just nudge a little grubber in. Good kick chase, try and build a little bit of pressure. That's a couple of times both halves have done that. So that was Bentley struggling to get to her feet there. There's a Up together now. walking wounder there out there. Some tough knocks. She's just gone back down and taken a knee in back play too. It's all Isabel Kelly. Kelly gets a pass away to Aiken. Aiken oh, inside. Yeah. Beautiful hands. Backstar going for the line. Here come the chasers. But Corbin's too quick for them. And the Roosters hit back through Corbin Baxter there. Inspirational. Number one. I think she deserves this one, Corbin Baxter, because she came up with two try-saving tackles in that previous set of six. Jasmine Peters with the break down the line, and then when Tallulah Tillett tried to fix Peters again, she came up with another great tackle. But this interchange of passing on the left edge, the Harvey Norman replay, shows it beautifully. And then Corbin Baxter doing what she does so well. Continual push support. She constantly works for the Roosters. But this little offload... I love this about Taryn Aiken's game, Fergo, where she just sniffs around the players that she knows can punch through the line, and she's always there to clean it up. Yeah, she doesn't clock off, and whilst they've got set plays, the Roosters, she's constantly pushing and won't go to those set plays unless... Jocelyn Kelleher looking to convert. And comes back beautifully. What a kick. Every middle forward just applauded at home there. Saying thank you very much. That's what we like. Reeves. Went strong off the bench for the Cowboys. North Queensland now. 30 away from the Roosters line. Big chance for them to hit back again. And after that onslaught from the Roosters. Oh, Big hit. How's that for your first touch of the football? Now Tillett puts the grubber kick in and the try will come. The Cowboys are in. And that is a lovely hit back. Kick. We're seeing the big hit by Pani Hopoate, but she bounced straight back up. Mooker, and that's what happened. That's what helps him. Now Koenig to Kelleher. 
And that's charged down. It's play on here. Koenig. Koenig beats one, beats another. Will be wrapped up. Get up now. Five. 20 seconds Five. left. Opportunity here for the Roosters. Aiken, long pass. Frezard inside. Parker for the corner. No, she stopped. Desperate defence. This could be the last play of the half. Frezard to Kelleher. Aiken with a chip over the top. It's been lost. And Taryn Aiken is there to score a try right on half time. A try that only Taryn Aiken could score. Oh, you yeah dead on with that. Set them up with that territory, but she's quite far over on the right-hand side, Taryn Aiken. This is probably their last crack and a kick. As we know, it's only as good as its chase and she put it on the boot. She knew she was the only one there and didn't she just nail that. Feifua, she might have nightmares about that one, I think, Salty. Kelleher. So making an eight-point lead for the Roosters at the break. Converts the try. So three tries to two. The Roosters with a try right on half time. We're oh, just watching this kick for Kira Dib. Look at the flat spin on it. It's like a UFO just spinning in circles there. That's why Corbin Baxter found it a little difficult to take. Jeez, that was nice. Look. So oh, that. What a ball, Kelly. Oh. Inside, Aiken. She's got a double. Taryn Aiken under the post, and the Roosters extend their lead. Stop it. Stop it right now. Taryn Aiken, what a player. Outside backs getting heavily involved, but Taryn Aiken holds it up. She targets, targets Tallulah to Tillett, and that line that Isabel Kelly ran was perfect. She just hit that angle a little bit late. This will be a great shot. Taryn Aiken sucks in Tallulah Tillett and Corbin Baxter helps, but that opens the space and allows that strong line for Isabel Kelly. And then the support play. They make it look simple, but they get so many crucial parts of the game right. It's really good footy from the Roosters. Three from three so far tonight. A couple of tough ones as well. This the easiest, and she converts. <laughs> I think if it's an air swing, maybe, but the, uh, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. The pressure from Faye Fuller there was very good. I'm saying dumb for the day. <laughs> John Spoken like a true half. Like <laughs> and all the forwards are saying, go again. Ooh. Ooh, Bit of trouble yeah. here. Hopawati. This looks like it's a hip drop. Oh, that's on Peters, is it? Oh, immediate concern for that that right ankle. Yep. yep. Ten in the bin. Ten in the bin for Hopawati. So it's 13 on 12. Wood to dummy half. Kelly at first receiver. The Roosters looking very dangerous. Hamilton heavily involved. Scott. Now Joseph. He's got the dummy half. Aiken. Plenty of plays in motion. Frezard! Jamie Frezard is in for the Roosters. Good footy again from the Roosters. Taryn Aiken, we'll get to see it here on the Harvey Norman replay, but just have a look at who she targets space but she skips out and sucks in Kira Dib. That's what opens up that space. She should actually be if they were marked up on the back rower but Taryn Aiken skipping out and committing Kira Dib. That allowed that space for Jamie Frezard and so too Isabel Kelly in the in her try on the left edge. And off the upright it's over. What a kick. Well, how much energy do the Cowboys have in the tank now? Because they've had to do so much defence. And the Roosters, even though they're down a player, have just been creating opportunities for themselves. And here we go again. Look at this. This defence from the Roosters is ruthless. Parker and Frezard outstanding. And Bridie Parker jumped on the loose ball. And they're on the front foot again here. 
sending a statement to the rest of the competition, the Roosters. Joseph. So professional, their approach tonight in this second half. Aiken, short ball, pull out. There she is. Tessa Puller with a try. With fixing her defenders and coming up with the right options. And this one, she just hits that lead runner. Again, a lot of bodies moving out the back. Strikes that one beautifully again. Six from six. Joseph playing it. Aiken. Lovely ball, Kelly. She pops a pass, Callaher gets there. Very wide, but on the Harvey Norman replay, this is where the Roosters' attack is just humming. Again, those run options. Isabel Kelly's strength has been fantastic. But the lead up play can do it, but just to find the right timing and consistency there, that'll complete her game. And six from seven it is now for... Got the ball back and the Roosters defence. They're in numbers again. And the men's woman slow to get to her feet. Mooka. Playing the ball a couple of metres short. Now Dib. Last play. Karoi to dummy half. For Fua. Oh, that's played out. And that's yeah, played that's on. Right. They'll end their season with a try. Fafua scores. Try awarded for the Cowboys. Well, this is exactly what I wanted to see out of the Cowboys, knowing that Kira Dib had been caught with the ball. The Harvey Norman replay will show this run by Emma Manselman. And if I'm John Strange, I'm looking at there's been a few times that, that their ruck has been dissected in this fashion, and he'll want to tidy that up heading into finals. But this here, Jatea Fafua. Puts a nice little kick in. It's played out by the Roosters' defence. And she comes up with the ball nice and clean. She's been under some pressure tonight, Faithfuller, but I, I think I just want to see this put down again, just to make sure. Dib converts. It's 40 points to 16. And there's 10 seconds remaining. Dib. Crossfield kick. What does the bounce do? It rolls end on end. Oh, sits up and Wood has to make a play at it. That's full time. The Roosters. Comprehensive. They've defeated the Cowboys.